Turns out that the 3.5 million year old bone that Natalia had dug out of the high Arctic belonged to a camel. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? That's amazing, right? If it's true. The, the size of the bone that they found uh, w was such that it, it meant that this camel was 30% larger than modern day camels. So uh, this camel would have been about nine feet tall, weighed around a ton. Natalia had found a giant Arctic camel. <laughs> so how on earth would one of these guys end up in the high Arctic? Well, scientists have known for a long time that camels are actually originally American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they started here. For 40 of the 45 million years that camels have been around, you could only find them in North America. And then about three to seven million years ago, one branch of camels went down to South America, where they became llamas and alpacas, and another branch crossed over the Bering Land Bridge into Asia and Africa, and then around the end of the last ice age, North American camels went extinct. Scientists knew all of that already, but it still doesn't fully explain how Natalia found one so far north. How is it that one of these Saharan superstars survived these Arctic conditions? <laughs> 